overhauling your health as a leader to achieve peak mental and physical resilience starts with a really deep and different understanding of the mind-body connection and how all the systems of our body are interconnected. Here's how to overhaul your health to achieve peak mental and physical resilience as a leader. We've all heard of the five senses, touch, taste, sight, sound, and smell. Did you know that there's a sixth sense called interoception? And it's the sense that you have of the physiological state of the inside of your body. And that includes things like your temperature, pain levels, all the way up to things like, are you feeling well? And so it's a really good idea to start paying attention to those things and noticing them more, because that sense has a lot more to it. You can really start to use it to understand, am I confident? Am I stressed? Am I maybe becoming unwell and do I need to do something to stave that off? As a leader, this can be your new superpower. So really understanding the brain-body connection and the power that you hold in your brain for mind over matter can revolutionise not just your leadership style, but also your health in general. So the gut-brain connection is an area of huge research which has exploded with new information recently. We always knew that the gut and the brain were connected through the vagus nerve, but we now know that the gut and the brain are connected through other nerves, through hormones, through chemical messengers that go through the blood, and the fact that this relationship is bi-directional. So if your gut is not in good condition, that can have an effect on your sleep, your mood, and your stress levels. Equally, if you're feeling stressed, then that has an impact on the quality and quantity of your gut microbiome. Another such example is the connection between your mental state and your skin. It's called psychodermatology, and it also goes both ways. The skin is essentially the boundary of our bodies physically, but it also shows up a lot of psychological issues if we have boundary transgressions. So if someone gets into your space or behaves in a certain way that really impacts on, on how you feel emotionally safe and secure. So often when we're feeling threatened in that way, we may come out with a skin rash or eczema or other skin issues that manifest because we're actually feeling stressed mentally. So those are two examples of how the mind and the body interact, but it's becoming increasingly important to understand as a leader that there is no cutoff at the neck between psychology and physiology. They're intimately connected. There are even connections between our gut microbiome and our immunity, and this contributes so strongly to our ability to stay resilient against stress. So as the world gets more complex, it becomes more and more important to understand the power of the brain-body connection.